it's me again CJ Valdez and welcome to my part 2 of my exploration to Glastonbury and we are here at the Chaliswell Garden so Chaliswell Garden is located at the bottom of the Glastonbury Tour uh, this garden is designated as a world peace garden because uh, people come here for deeply healing physically and emotionally uh, to connect with the fairy and magic So guys, uh, many uh, people say that uh, Glastonbury is the new Israel because um, Joseph of Amarithea and Mama Mary and uh, St. Michael traveled here um, after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ in Israel together with the Holy Thorn and the Holy Grail which is the cup of Jesus Christ that he used at the Last Supper um, with the with a blood stain on it so we are going to start from here at the bottom of the garden this is the Vesica pool so uh, this is uh, the entrance of Mama Mary every time she come into the garden and this is uh, one of her many lines At the top of this pool, Jan Pudin Dumadaan, see um, St. Michael in between those two yew trees there. So, dito nagko cross ang lines nila. So, napakalakas ang energy at that place. So, as you can see, guys. Uh, these branches of uh, yew trees are bending down into the ground they want to stay in the energy um, so uh, as we all know uh, yew tree is a very ancient cultic tree uh, nobody ever sees a yew tree die or born so they are very much associated with immortality uh, this represents the real timeless in the earth so I'm hugging the yew tree to feel the energy King's Arthur's Court and uh, the Healing Pool. Uh, healing Pool is a sacred area for baptism and uh, it is a pool for foot bathing and uh, symbolic cleansing. This pool is open to public. You can soak your feet in there and sit and enjoy the uh, peacefulness of the garden. And this is the King's Arthur's Court uh, flowing into the Healing Pool. As you can see, um, the red, the water uh, leaves a red, red stain on the stones, which is um, the water is full of um, iron. So next, guys, we will go into the Dragon Head. Dun po tayo kukuha ng tubig na iinumin natin at iuwi po natin. So um, they said this red spring is a lot of uh, curative properties because the water is rich in iron which is good in the blood kidney and liver 
that's why um, a lot of people uh, come here to get the water and drunk and because uh, gusto nilang gumaling at marami din din na nagsasabi na nagumaling sila dahil sa tubig na ito so um, many locals also uh, drink only this water and um, this is the holy thorn uh, the local legend says that uh, this tree took root when uh, Joseph of Arimathea drove his staff into the ground near the well. guys we are now at the head of the well the chalice well uh, they believe that this is where joseph of arimathea buried or washed the cup of jesus christ that he used in the last supper uh, they said the water is red because it represents the blood of jesus christ so um, the design of the lid of the well is a physical Pieces, an ancient sacred symbol of uh, transformation or overlapping. Uh, it is a combination of uh, heaven and earth. is a living sanctuary of gardens and people use it for quiet contemplation so in this garden I found very calming and soothing and very peaceful so anyway guys we are done here let's go to the east side of the red spring or chalice well uh, the white spring so the building was originally a uh, waterworks uh, this building now serves as a place of worship and visitors are admitted at irregular opening times uh, the water from this comes from a shallower aquifer and colorless the water is rich in calcium uh, so this water can also um, heal so uh, I soak my feet in the water and uh, walk around Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed um, watching it and um, I hope to see you in my next video at the Glastonbury Abbey. Uh -huh.